My name is Taylor Miller, uh, plastics process engineer here at Madison Heights in the Rota Mulling Department, and I've been here for two years. I was like, I'm going to get my own hard hat, ordered a pink one. Now everybody can see me and know that, knows that it's me when I'm out here, even if they just see my hat. <laughs> All rotational molding uses powder, very fine polyethylene. My favorite part of my job is being on the floor. Uh, I like to work on new things, try new things, make things better. There's not nearly as many uh, companies that do rotational molding. So if you if you want like a hollow part, like kayaks are molded the same way. Yeti coolers are molded like that. Those are all molded using rotational molding. So it's gonna go on the mold and it's actually gonna start its rotations, both by the arm and by plate. Um, and then the oven's gonna heat up to 575 degrees. And, and they're rotating all the way through the process from the oven all the way through cooling just so that it's layering up evenly and cooling evenly. There's four fans blowing on the hopper as it still rotates by axially. We want it to shrink down to be able to demold the part easily uh, when it comes out of cooling. There's not as much information out there, so it is a little bit of like an art form trying to figure out exactly what to do. It's also a very slow process. On our best day, we've made 25 poly hoppers in one day. We rely heavily on the operators to perform the job and perform their tasks. It's definitely very cool 